friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Monday, May 11th. And today's word comes out of John chapter 16, verse 33. Now, if you were with us on Sunday morning, you know that we actually read from that exact same passage. But let me read to you again what Jesus said. He said this, I have told you these things. He's talking to his disciples. He said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Friends, that's where our peace comes from. It's in him that we have peace. He says, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome Now, on Sunday morning, I talked about the fact that Jesus said these words after giving them a whole lot of bad news. But it wasn't all bad news. Jesus actually had given them some incredible news as well. See, in John chapter 14 and earlier in John chapter 16, Jesus had begun to promise the Holy Spirit. He began to explain to the disciples that when he left, he was going to send the Holy Spirit, a a helper, an advocate, a comforter. The Greek word is parakletos, one who would come alongside of us and equip and empower us. And friends, as followers of Jesus, that same Holy Spirit indwells us, lives in us, equipping and empowering us to face the obstacles of this world, to, to, to produce spiritual fruit like love and joy and peace. And Jesus promises that. He says, in me, you will have peace. But I love what he says at the end. He says, but take heart. Now you're going to have plenty of troubles, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Friends, I want you to remember that whatever it is that you face in this world, this week, this month, this year, Jesus has already won the He has already triumphed. He has already defeated death and sin and the grave. And he has already overcome everything that this world can throw at us. So take comfort in that truth today. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.